So these things are very interesting, uh, the features of Renaissance, right? Uh, for example, rationalism, one of the features of Renaissance. So this gives you a freedom uh, instead of uh, believing anything blindly, it uh, gives you freedom to refuse it, to refuse to accept blindly. And uh, that is rationalism. Rationalism is refuse to accept blindly. Suppose if I uh, ask you to believe that this is not a boat, this is God. And if you start believing it, it means you are not following a rational outlook. But instead of uh, doing that, if you uh, started asking me questions, then uh, it means you are having a rational outlook. Second thing, uh, the which is the feature of the Renaissance is the humanism. Uh, before Renaissance, none of uh, the people belong to that medieval society were talking about the humans, their freedom. But the moment Renaissance came, the people started asking about the freedom of humans, that these, uh, these people, I mean the humans should be given freedom to inquire, to ask questions or to express themselves. Right. The third feature is the scientific spirit. And I, for that, I have written OEC because the space was a bit smaller over there. So, O means observe, E means experiment, and C means conclusion. It means before uh, coming to any sort of conclusion, the scientific spirit says that you have to observe it, experiment it, then you must. Uh, come to any sort of conclusion and if you are following these steps observe experiment and conclusion it means you are following a scientific spirit right thus the fourth one is a uh, spirit of inquiry and that is my favorite one because it gives you a chance to explore things right uh, at that time humans uh, were not aware uh, about what is there beyond the world they were living at that time, beyond the country they were living at that time. But this renaissance, this renaissance uh, gave them a spirit of inquiry and that the spirit, uh, I mean, motivated them to explore things. Okay, let's see what is over there. Let's go and find out uh, uh, what are the other countries over there, right? And at that time, they started building a new cultural, uh, economic and your social religious re relations with the other society or other countries. Uh, these are the features of Renaissance, right? Thank you.